Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Sun City Siege. Check it, check it out. It's a bit windy today, so we're going to, uh, of course, we're going to take archers. You see top right corner there. Um, if you want to know the weather effects in the game, I do have a video on that. There is a link now at the top of the screen if you'd like to know about the weather effects. Um, I'm taking my trusty Modal Battalion to mow down the enemy. Uh, we're going to take the uh, the Landshark Halberdiers because I really like them. Um, I used to hate them, really, to be perfectly honest, but uh, I really, really enjoy them now. They get good kills and they have massive armor penetration and murder heroes, and I just love that. Especially as a longsword, you don't get a lot of um, you don't get a lot of opportunity to assassinate people. And um, we're also going to take the Pike Militia. Um, front little green unit, I don't use them an awful lot anymore, but they are relevant at all levels of the game, and we'll try and see if we can get some stun lock on some enemy units. So here we go. We'll try and get the battering ram, I think. We've only got Metallolori, so it doesn't matter if the cavalry sally out and destroy them. We're going to grab our favourite cannon. Bit of a dust storm here. Let's have a look around about there, I think. That's good. Another one of those would be excellent. Hopefully before the other the other cannon gets me. Ugh. That's one thing about the cannons is they're very inaccurate. I do prefer the Colrins. Hey! It's my cannon. Garbled or not, it was still my cannon. Right, we'll just sit here. Um, when I run out of cannons and things, I like to sit here just in case any uh, horsies come out of the gate there. Just like these ones right here. And if they do, we will gun them down with the Hwacha. I see that that's been hit a bit. I wonder if we can loop over, see if there's any uh, infantry or things lurking up there. Doesn't seem to be, though. Um, hopefully that cannon's shooting at me, because that would just waste their time a wee bit. See if we can encourage them to keep firing at me. Couple of little hits there. You know, anything you can do to... Here we go. Anything you can do to um, distract the enemy is uh, really what you need to be doing. Speaking of which, this guy here can essentially hold up my Metallolori forever. So what I want to do is I want to look like I'm a nice juicy target and he can start shooting me. Hello, here I am. I'm an easy target. Shoot me. He's not falling for it. Um... Kind of our options at this point are just let him kill all the Metallolori, which will just hold his attention while we kill the um, Siege Tower, or the Siege Tower gets in. Or I can just sort of move them away and make it somebody else's problem, and when he stops shooting, we'll just go back to the ram. Yep, okay. Looks like he's busy. Hopefully he'll start ignoring me. I like that somebody's shooting a cannon at him. Uh, you don't let these people just do whatever they like. You, you at least try and harass them a little bit to, to slow them down or disrupt them as much as you can. Either way, we're going to get in both the Siege Tower and the Siege Ram. So uh, good result all around, I guess. It's a lot easier to uh, delay the Siege Ram than it is to delay the Siege Towers. You've got to hit a lot more models off it to delay the Siege Tower, where it's only one, possibly two, for the Siege Ram. Do you like my new armour? Pretty snazzy, huh? Right, send them up. Maybe not. No. Nope. Okay, let's go get a unit. Well, a, a unit that's not completely garbage. <laughs> the Militellaluri are the best unit in the game because of their leadership and their ability with the siege equipment. Um, and also, of course, you get major... Uh, it would take, it would take the pikeys. You get a major increase in honour and bronze and experience as well when you've got them in your... Uh, in your stable, in your warband. But of course, they are the worst unit in the game in close combat. There is no unit that is worse in close combat than them. Well, I suppose some of the archers, but even most of the archers are better. I kid you not. Give these guys a bit of a damage reduct as they uh, come in. Didn't need it. We're going to push up here unopposed. That is interesting. Now, are you guys going to stand there and just... Let us kill you, or what are you guys doing? This looks like a good opportunity. Kablam! <laughs> oh, that was a good trip. Oh, yes. Beautiful. We'll put these guys in, and we'll hopefully be able to stunlock them a little bit. That works for me. 
heroes don't want to tangle. Oh, there's some javelins there. You see them? Oh, it's slow. What happens when you get the pike militia in is that they stun lock people because their attacks have stuns. And of course, you can kill a whole bunch of units before they can even react. And that includes things like Celadars, Iron Reapers and stuff these guys can kill. Simply because of their double hit and their stun ability. And that is why the, the unit remains relevant at all levels of play. You know, I didn't say the best unit at all levels of play, just to be clear, but they're relevant, right? This unit can kill gold tier units. Many that are not immune to stuns anyway. Um, where to from here? There's a lot of enemy here. I'll see if the... I haven't actually used Pike Militia against Modal before. Let me see if I can try and make that happen. I'll see if in their brace and stuff that actually works. Let's find out. Bit of a test here. They might all die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. Pike Militia don't work on the Modal because, of course, the Modal just hit their two key and delete the whole front portion of the unit. So although they are susceptible to the stun, it's just not... Uh, given their number two ability, it's just not viable, it would seem. So I hope you learned something new. I certainly did. And we've got these guys on the run, big time. Let's make sure our Modal are completely supported. Modown Battalion. Just try and avoid this little circle, sneak along the wall here. Hmm. That's another dead unit, lovely. We really have them on the run. Free cannon while we're waiting for our team to push up. And here we go. The dead Parvis unit as well. We have really got them on the hop. I don't know about that Treb. We had momentum and that Treb destroyed our momentum. And also some of our units it would seem. So that was what you might commonly refer to as a terrible Treb. Never mind. Let's ask our team to move here. Uh, I'm just going to take some lovely archer kills because there's nothing better than killing Namcans in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I do love it a lot. Hopefully as well we can sort of mitigate some of that bleed on our units. Ooh, we've got a bit of a death ball going on. Maybe not as good as the one from uh, from the last video. <laughs> but uh, it seems to be alright. It seems to be alright. It seems to be going. Um, do I want to push with this part of a unit or do I want to go back to supply? Supply it is. Now we can still recycle the unit if we want to use it later. There's still at least eight of them available. By the way, fun fact, uh, definitely take the mow downs. Fun fact, the Grandpa Garrison, um, they can you can recall them out of your supply point even if only one of them survives. It's one of their special abilities. No matter what you do with the Grandpa Garrison, if you've got one left, you can put them back in the supply and pull them out again later. Wow, that is a lot of dead Modal. Like, wow. That's, that is a warning if ever I saw one. <laughs> Abandon hope, all ye who enter. This Grandpa Garrison is dead. They made a mess up. Slow clap. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Don't be afraid to use the brace on the Modau Battalion, um, even when you're not fighting cavalry. Um, I like to alternate between the number two poke and the the, um, the brace. What's this guy doing? Look at this. See that on the map? Crazy. All right. Anyway, we've got work to do. Plenty of work to do. I might lose a few here. This looks very deadly. Little hesitant here. Jevos. Hmm. Nobody wants to trip. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. He's dead. Lovely. And we're going to capture the C point quite easily now. So just like I mentioned in my last video, when your team all moves together and you've got a good variety of units, we don't have too many people taking range. Look at this. We've got heavy infantry, we've got light infantry, we've got halberds, we've got you know one or two units of ranged. 
uh, really, really effective when you've got a broad unit of troops and, you know, most of them are melee. Are they our cav? They are not our cav. But we have um, pikes here which are not too, dis not too disturbed. Some jav militia. I'm going to do a video on the um, javelin militia soon, so watch out for that. Very interesting unit and very fun to use. Anyway, let's have a look at the point here. Um, I can see the, the enemy has recovered a bit from the absolute drubbing they got on C. Um, we might be able to push them off in one sweep at the moment. Let's see what we can do with a charge. Oh, straight into the pike guard. Well timed. Very well done to the enemy player. That was excellent. Beautiful. That cavalry charge was appalling. You can't do that when there's uh, so many pikes and modows around. We're okay for now. Oh, something coming in from the side though. Yeah, there. Condos. Condos are good at killing modow, would you believe, because of their shock attack ability. I got picked to death. That pike. Did that pike get me? No, he did not. Didn't think so. Okay, so unfortunately that was unfortunate and my decisions were not sound there. Um, I thought we had enough on the point to be able to sweep away the enemy. It turns out that they had reinforcements en route and well done to the enemy team. Good for them. And we're throwing away that grandpa garrison unit, that's for sure. Well, that longsword did a great job. You see how the longsword swept across the front of the, the enemy unit? He didn't try to go through it. He moved up to it, moved the whole way along the shield line, and then came back behind his troops. That is exactly the way that you want to be using the longsword uh, alt, the Clash of Shields. Anyway, we're going to take the land sharks in. Excuse me, sir, you're not getting away. I'm not having that. Light armoured, oh, medium armoured guy. Chop. Thank you very much, help it is. What have we got here? Paladins. <laughs> See that hero run when he saw the halberds? These paladins, were, are they, they, what are they? I don't know, I think, I think they were our paladins I'm seeing. Or grey hairs or something. Man, I'm tripping obviously. <laughs> Look how much damage this beautiful unit does. Alright, well it actually seems that we have swept it. Swept the point clean now. Oh, look at all these heroes. Heroes in ranged. You know what that means? It's power charge time. YOLO! And anyone who doesn't realize is going to get caught and killed. <laughs> oh, I love that unit so much. Oh, I love it so much. And now they've got to deal with that unit before they can push onto the point. So I'd say that's going to win us the game. Our team did excellent. Look at these shields. Our, our stalwart shield line up the front. Excellent. This guy didn't move his palace guard on far enough before he braced them. Never mind. Actually, are they going to push us off? push us off with like a millisecond to go. The enemy team are doing the right thing, or at least half of the enemy team are doing the right thing. These guys are not fools, they're doing exactly what they should be. They are being a little outplayed though. Um, I might just go get the archers in case the game goes on, because our front line is looking a bit shaky. And I'm half dead, so let's go, oh, never mind. It's a victory! Boom, go the old helmet ears. Oh, I love them. I got MVP, that's nice. 1.6 and 1.5. Yeah, the Pike Militia got a hero killer. I didn't realise that. I thought I got the kill. Never mind. Really good. Didn't even get to use the archers and Metallurie, of course, they did their job pushing in the siege engines. So all in all good. Modow, great. Look at the um the kill scores too. They they weren't killing peasants. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Came in first with four four kills and 113. We got 284 participation as well, and that is very good. I think I contribute well to our team here. But look at the other players in our team as well. There's at least one, two, three, four, four players who got over 200 participation, and and that's where it really counts. So that's what won us the battle. Everybody was focused on getting the points. Anyway, I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks for coming to my channel.